Hello friends, welcome back to another video tutorial in Revit Architecture 2024 for beginners. I am architect Sonu Rai from Gladys Studio and in this today video tutorial, I am going to discuss with you curtain wall in Revit. So how to use curtain wall? So I am going to my ribbon panel here in the build category. You are required to select this wall drop down arrow and you can go to wall architectural and in wall architectural, it will go to properties here can go further down and you can see this curtain wall category so there are three types of curtain wall in revit curtain wall one and exterior glazing and store front so basically these are part of curtain wall but there are some difference in these three and they are almost same but we need to understand the what are the difference between these three curtain wall one exterior glazing and store front provided by revit so I'm going to my uh, definition from the Autodex website. You can see here about curtain wall. So curtain wall is an exterior wall that is attached to the building structure and which does not carry the floor or roof loads of the building. So you can see here there is curtain wall one. So curtain wall one has no grids or mullions. So you can see this is the first example of curtain wall. So it has no grids. You can see this is a plane and if you look at the exterior glazing has preset grids the grid rules can be changed if the setting is not suitable so if you draw uh, exterior glazing only difference is that it has some grids preset grids but we can change according to our design so and store fronts has a preset grids and mullions so these mullions and grids are predefined in store front and the grids and mullions rules can be changed if the settings are not suitable so you can change this but the uh, only difference is that it is uh, grids and mullions this has only grids and in curtain wall one there is no presets here so this is the a small differences between the three so we'll understand by one example so i'm going to my revit here and i'm going to wall architectural and now i'm going to select curtain wall one and level uh, i'm going to start from level one and unconnected height will be 20 feet so i'm going to first draw a curtain wall of any length and now you can see in your 3d view this is our curtain wall one and i'm going to realistic mode and now i am going to level one again and next i will again go to select exterior glazing next is exterior glazing so i'm going to just draw beside here and I, this is exterior glazing and now i will draw store front a third type here and i will draw a store front so if you go to 3d view you can see this has preset <coughs> grids here and the store front has preset and mullion grids are uh, both uh, is there in uh, this store front and this is exterior glazing is having only grids and this is the curtain wall one which is just a plane but we can edit uh, any of this with the, our settings so i am going to explain further so i am going to level one and again i am going to wall and i will select curtain wall one here and i will draw a curtain wall again here so now I'm going to my 3D view and this is our curtain wall one. I'm going to select this and now I will go to edit type here and you are required to create a duplicate of this and always create a duplicate if you are changing any objects in Revit. So I'm going to draw a curtain wall too. You can rename anything as per your wish. And now you can see in type properties the construction category is here the function for what function we are using this uh, curtain wall so i am using it for exterior if you are using for interior you can select interior foundation retaining soffit and core soft so i am going to select this for exterior and automatically embed is unchecked so i will tell you what is automatically embed in this and now this is the curtain panel so in curtain panel i can select none and you can also select basic wall exterior glazing and basic wall exterior and so on there are so many types and this is curtain wall uh, storefront impedance system system panel glazed if you want system panel solids you can select solid and system panel glazed you can select glazed so if you select solid here you can click apply so it, this will become solid here so 
likewise you can check one by one so i will keep it list and now i am going to select this again i am going to edit type and uh, can create duplicate and you can select ok and now i am going to my vertical grids here layout is none so you are required to first create a grid so this is vertical grid so this is none i am going to click on this arrow here and now i will select fixed distance fixed number maximum spacing and minimum spacing so you can select any of these but i will tell you to select fixed distance give a fixed distance at what uh, distance you want your grids to be placed and you can also uh, if you know the number how many grids you can place here you can give the number also you can select this fixed number and maximum spacing and minimum spacing so generally we will use this fixed distance i am going to select fixed distance and spacing is 5 feet here and you can also check this adjust for million size so i am going to give this i want this at uh, 2 feet distance and now this is vertical grid now again uh, horizontal grid and again you can follow the same method here and I am going to select fixed distance and I will give this as a 3 feet here so I am going to give 3 feet adjust for more size you can check this box now this is about the grids so now I am going to apply here ok and you can see these grids are placed here so now you can uh, place mullions here so you can select this cut in wall again and you can go to edit type and now this is vertical mullions and horizontal mullions so i am going to select on uh, vertical mullions interior type this is done so i am going to check this here and i am going to select this arrow and uh, what will be the size of uh, mullion you can select a rectangular mullion you can select a circular mullion so you can see that uh, in build sizes here you can change later on in advanced revit i will tell you how you can change this so i am going to select a rectangular mullion one inch square and click apply and border type one border one type so this is the border outside border you can understand this so if you will say in the interior type you can uh, click ok you can see these are the interior mullion you can see this interior mullion is applied here but borders there are no mullions so that is the meaning of that so i can change this i am going to edit type and you can see here border one type this is none i am going to change any size here so i am going to use this rectangular mullion 1.5 inches into 2.5 inches rectangular i will select this and click apply and ok and you can see this is the border you can see this border is changed by the mullion so again you can select this edit type and now you can select this border to type also you can place this one click apply and you can see this is changed here here you can see this is the border type one again i am going to select this and i am going to edit type and now the horizontal mullion so this is the horizontal mullion interior type you can do this again one inch square apply and this is change this is the horizontal mullion and now the border one type uh, the top one and border two type the bottom one you can also give this any mullion so i am going to select larger size here you can uh, give any other sizes also so this is just to make you understand you can see the border are closed here with the mullions so this is the method of working here with the curtain wall one so you can select here again you can go to edit type here and you can see these are the settings which i have done here you can also use fixed number here if you know suppose you you have 20 numbers of spacing you can select this fixed number also and you can uh, do maximum spacing and minimum spacing and generally i recommend you to use fixed distance so now this is the curtain wall now i will tell you what is the embedded curtain wall so you can see here uh, this is automatically embed curtain wall this is unchecked so what is the difference suppose i am going to draw a wall here 
so I am going to use 8 inch wall here and I will draw a wall so this is in review we will go to level 1 here and I will draw a basic wall here so this is our basic wall and now I am going to draw a curtain wall in this wall so I will go to wall again and I will select curtain wall 2 here suppose this is our curtain wall 2 can select curtain wall 3 and now I am going to draw a curtain wall in this wall and you can see highlighted walls overlap one of them may be ignored when it finds room boundaries so can use cut geometry tool here so if I am going to or oh, this curtain wall view here I am going to 3d view you can see there is curtain wall but this is not cut so I am going to my wireframe here you can see this, there is a curtain wall but this is not showing up when we are drawing here in realistic mode so how to resolve this so I'm again I'm going to level one and now again I'm going to draw a wall here any size suppose this is 8 inches and again I'm going to draw a curtain wall so we'll use curtain wall 3 and now I'm going to edit type before drawing I'm going to check this box automatically embed so I will select this box and click apply ok and you can see the difference uh, by selecting automatically embed you are uh, not required to use cut geometry tool and it will be automatically embed so we can use this cut and wall 3 here and you can see this is automatically embed into this wall so first I am going to wall architectural and cut and wall 3 so I am going to draw a cut and wall here and it will be automatically embedded you can see this is lot easier so you will save your time if you select this automatically embed if you are drawing inside any wall and after this you can do some more settings like you can change the base offset if you want from level 1 can give any offset suppose I am going to give 3 feet above wall so this will say it above wall you can also use this arrow to reduce or increase the height here so likewise you can use this cut in wall and you can also use your cross section here. this is vertical you can use slanted you can give any slanted here so i am going to give this as a 20 degree and i will apply and you can see this cut in wall is 20 degree inclined to this wall so likewise you can use this inclination for your design work and you can give vertical also so you can apply vertical so likewise you can do these settings for pattern wall and you can also go to your edit type and you can use this curtain panel none and you can use other also this kind of category you can check if you required any solid forms here and if you insert from library also this will reflect here or from any external source if you are, uh, want to incorporate in this design this will reflect in this material and finishes so the next is exterior glazing so the process will be same here so I am going to my wall architectural and I will select this exterior glazing and I am going to level 1 here and I will draw any exterior glazing here and you can go to 3d view and you can see this is our exterior glazing and it has having some inbuilt grids here you can see there is a grid so you can change this you can go to edit type and you can duplicate this exterior glazing too and you can change this vertical grid spacing is by default is 6 feet so if i am going to give this as again 2 feet and horizontal grid i am going to give this as a 3 feet 
and adjust from mullion side you can check this box and vertical mullions you will see later i'm going to change the grid first or i'm going to apply okay you can see this grid is changed so likewise you can do this mullion again you can change the size and you can give a change the mullion here so i'm going to interior type i will select one inch square border type i will select 1.5 inch 2.5 inches and i will do this for oriental mullion also i will select one inch square for interior type border one type i will select 1.5 inches 2.5 inches and border 2 i will select 1.5 inch 2.5 inches rectangular i will click apply okay and you can see this is changed so this is the only difference between uh, cut in wall one and exterior glazing now the third type is store front so if we'll go and select a store front in level one so this will be also similar but it has having uh, inbuilt uh, grids and mullions so i'm going to draw a cut store front you can see this is having mullions and grids before only so you can see here so i'm going to select here and i'm going to edit type here and now you can see this is spacing here vertical grids you can create a duplicate if you want and you can give this layout is maximum spacing you can select this fixed distance or you can give any uh, spacing here suppose i'm going to give this as three feet and adjust for money in size and uh, horizontal grid also you can select this with fixed distance i'm going to make this as a six feet and adjust for only in size and you can leave this uh, interior type vertical mullions or horizontal mullions so i'm going to click apply okay and you can see this is changed here so uh, this is the small differences between these three exterior glazing store front and cut and wall one so you can utilize this for your designs so this was the basics of this cut and wall so i will tell you you can also use this curtain uh, if i am going to select this here and you can also use this edit profile here and you can edit the curtain wall size here suppose i am going to delete this and i am go going to draw an arc here you can use this elevation mode also and i am going to draw an arc here and i am going to finish this you can see this has become an arc shape here so likewise you can edit the profile of cut and wall i am going to select this cut and exterior glazing and i am going to edit profile and you can give any designs here so suppose i am going to delete this and i will give this any kind of shape here and i am going to finish this so you can see this has taken the shape of this so likewise you can use this for any window or any kind of design you can edit this cut and wall one also like same process and you can also use this curtain system here you can use create a curtain grids here so if you want to make a curtain grid here in wall on in this curtain panel also you can create uh, grids if you want and you can use this cut mullions also if you want to create a mullion you can select any grid here and the mullion will be created and you can change the mullion size from here so this is all the basic introduction about cut and wall one exterior glazing and store front so hope you have liked this video so in the next video tutorial i will come with some more interesting topics in revit architecture 2024 so thanks for watching please like share and subscribe my channel bye bye